Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Golden Image Music Channel. As you will see, Larry is not with me today. Um, so I would call this a special episode, kind of going solo a little bit. Uh, so a friend of mine asked me, hey, was there something that I could do about transferring a vinyl record to a digital file to play on a CD or USB drive? And I told him, yeah, absolutely. I do know how to do that. And I've done it in the past. So what he did was he went out to Discogs and uh, picked up this record, Celebration, by a band called Karma, 1976 release. Um, and this one, it was actually still in the shrink wrap. So this album is in fairly pristine condition. Doesn't mean we're not going to clean it, because we will have to clean it. This is not available anywhere digitally. You can't get this on Spotify. There is a YouTube video out there. It's okay. It's still a little crackly and they didn't take any care. We're going to try to fix that today. So anyway, this band called uh, karma, kind of a, a funk soul rock uh, album. Really good. Actually. Uh, just, I guess never went anywhere. Uh, this was their first album, 76. Their second album was the following year. And then they broke up after their second album. I'm going to show you three ways to record your vinyl to digital, uh, three different products. Uh, this one here is LP to MP3. It's made by Roxio. I think I saw it on Amazon for like $60, $70. Um, we'll look at this one. We'll record uh, some of the vinyl from the Karma record. And then we're going to try this other one from Project. Uh, I bought this you know, a couple few years ago. Uh, this has a USB out on it. So it gives you the opportunity to record digitally to the sound editor of your choice, which today we're going to just use Audacity. Um, the latest Audacity is not too bad. It's actually pretty neat. Uh, and then the last uh, one we're going to look at here is the Focusrite Pro Quality. And um, we'll have the opportunity to see how this competes with the, uh, the project and the LP to MP3. We first need to clean this record. Even though it stayed sealed all these years, it still has a lot of noise causing debris. That needs to be removed and i can see some of it in here it's dust it's fine it's fine particles it's going to make a lot of noise so for this video we want the best results um and i have a very thorough time tested process that i feel like i perfected over the years Now that the vinyl's been cleaned, let's just hear a quick clip through my living room system, just to kind of know what we're dealing with to start. Now look, none of this is scientific, but once we've recorded it digitally, you'll be able to hear the difference between each one of the recordings. All right, as we begin, I wanted to take us through a quick tour of Audacity. This is the music software. It's available free on the internet. You can get it for Windows, Linux, uh, Mac, and um, it costs nothing. You just download it. Once you have plugged in your USB device, the system should recognize it, certainly in Windows, and then once you know the name of that device, go to recording device and then select the appropriate name. Then once you're ready, you simply go up here to tracks, add new stereo track, and then you're basically ready to record. Hit the red button and it will start recording. Uh, fairly good turntable here. This is the Sony um, model number there. 
This is the Bluetooth model, so it gives you the opportunity to do some Bluetooth as well. Very flexible. It's also automatic. Now let's take a look at the back of this Sony turntable. As you'll see here, you have an output select, phono and line. This is very important because the phono output is gonna be a much lower level that requires a preamp where the line output actually can be used to plug directly into an amplifier. There's also on this one, a USB. So you can USB out just like we'll do with the project preamp. We will not be testing this one today. Okay, first up, we have the Focusrite professional audio interface, uh, maybe more consumer level, uh, but certainly semi-professional. It's a bit pricier, um, but it's known for its superb audio quality. So here's how we set it up. Using the RCA cable that came from the back of the system, you'll need to use these adapters for left and right. You wanna put left to left, right to right, Make sure you turn up the gain for each one of these and you're all set. Now you connect the focus right to the USB connection on your computer. You see now that it discovered the focus right Scarlet. All right, now we're ready to begin recording with the focus right. Remember, as in the tutorial, recording device set to the focus right here. We want to make sure that we should check our levels first. So make sure you turn on monitoring the levels. Let's go ahead and start the record. And then let's just check our levels. You can see there's a little bit of a mismatch. We never want to be in the red. There is a little bit of mismatch between channels. We'll crank it up a little bit here. Get these balanced out. Yeah, I think that's about perfect. I think we're ready to record. Well, once your track is complete, and some folks like to, like myself, I would just record the entire album, and then I would cut it up later into tracks. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to simply export the audio to computer, and use WAVE, CD quality, 16-bit, 44.1. All right, once the file is exported, you should find it in the folder you exported it to. Check it out, see how it sounds. Right, we got a winner there. Well, next up, we have the more budget-friendly option. It's a USB device. Uh, in this case, I'm using the Roxio Easy LP to MP3. Uh, it's kind of designed for that, and cassettes. Uh, uses RCA cables as an input, unlike the Focusrite. Uh, you can find these online for about, uh, I don't know, 30 to $40 for this model. And then um, for the other models, maybe some less expensive models, you can buy them for about 20 on Amazon. They're not the fanciest, so let's see how this one performs. All right, similar setup here. Connect the turntable to the USB device. Uh, then plug the USB device into your computer. And again, we'll be using Audacity for recording. Let's see how it sounds. And last but not least, we have a preamp with a built-in digital output. In this case, a USB. This is the Project Phonobox USB 5. And it's kind of a nice middle ground between the professional and the budget options. All right, here you connect the turntable to the preamp and then the preamp to your computer using this digital output cable. The setup is pretty straightforward here. All right, let's cue it up. Now that we're done, let's see how the project did. I can already hear a sound difference between them. So for folks that are kind of new to this, um, the project is actually specifically designed for a turntable that does not have a built in preamp. Uh, you have line out turntables, uh, a line out would go directly into the device like the LP to MP3, but you could not connect the LP to MP3 directly to that device. This is more for a line level. Most of these devices you don't need drivers for, they're already built into 
to Windows, especially some of these older devices. So now we've recorded the same clip using three different methods from Karma's album from 1976, Celebration. What I would ask you to do now is note each one. We'll do one through three. The most votes for the best sounding one wins. And I will uh, put that into our next video where I will actually show you how we remaster the clips that we just recorded today. Now, in my opinion, uh, the focus, right. As, uh, we would have thought sounds the most professional, the USB device did a pretty good job for its price and the preamp with the digital output, uh, I think still a great middle ground. Um, which one do you think sounded the best? Let me know in the comments below again, the one that wins, I will, uh, I'll probably use that one or maybe I'll master the one I like and the one that you all pick. And we'll just see how each one of them turns out. Well, that's it for this episode. Next time, we'll dive into the exciting world of remastering. And we'll remaster the music that we just recorded. Yes, Karma, Celebration. We pulled it off. Now we're going to remaster it. You hear a lot about remastering lately. CDs, vinyl. There's a lot to it. Technology's gotten so much better that we can get it up to the quality that we expect as not only music lovers, but audiophiles as well as people who just like good sounding tunes so i'll show you some tips and tricks and some ai stuff that's actually pretty cool that'll help us in this remastering process so don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell and stay updated thanks for watching and keep that music spinning talk to you soon